lovely afternoon. We're in Springfield, Massachusetts, and we're going to go into the, the park up of Pendleton Avenue. They used to call it the Pendleton Avenue Park, and we're going to see what amenities it has and what it leads to and what it's part of. I know it's part of the Leg Legacy Trail, which is six parks around Springfield. Um, In all these parks, six of them are joined together in a trail that's 2.3 miles long and you can walk it. Anything that you particularly want to wear today? So who is it named after? Yes, it's named after Donna, Donna Blake, who was an activist for the Springfield area in terms of getting young children involved. And this park was named after her. They renovated it just the last two years and it looks really gorgeous. So we'll go around it and look inside and what the perimeter has also. All right, Pendleton Avenue is a two-way street, but the side on which the park is on, there's no parking, so you have to park on the other side of the street, no problem. Well, it's a little park with a lot of green space, and you can see this gorgeous trees along the sides here. The neighborhood has a lot of residents, so it gets a lot of heavy use inside this park. And you can see the trees are definitely changing color. We're towards the end of October, so colors are really coming out. All right, and they have play equipment for all different ages of children. All right, and I'll show you. This is how much work they put into it in the last year or so. And they're gonna to continue to put work into it. it. Takes a lot of money to make a park that has a lot of equipment around. Okay, here's the main entrance for the park. It has a sign here. Welcome to the Donna Blake Park. Okay, and then it has young person equipment. This is a cool ride. Very they're supported by straps and you can swing around on it. Now it says here, Donna Blake, and it says she was a former park commissioner and a lifetime resident of Springfield. And it's named after because she gave so much to young people. And it tells you all the many things she did. Right, and the map next to it also tells you a route you might want to follow if you follow that legacy trail. All right, so uh, the closest park to this one is a Samuel Bolden Park on King Street, and another one on Pendleton Avenue is the Barrels Park. All right, and all of them have, by now, videos that you can look at. So here's the children's equipment. And we're gonna look at one more thing. Okay, here's a nice little thing. Can you match the leaf to the tree? Going from honey locust to sassafras. A lot of different trees in here. They're just unusual because small parks like this usually don't have the great variety. And then here, this one says the trees like this in a park. Um, and then they show you all the different seasons and what they're going to be like. Right? So a pleasant way to get involved with the look of the trees. A lot of cool looking equipment around. Okay. And a lot of green space. 
Alright, and what I'll do for you, cut one more down and take a picture. And if you check out the webpage for this particular um, park, it'll be filled with information. There's an outdoor pavilion with picnic tables, and there's park benches, and there's bike racks. And it even tells you which kind of child should use this, 5 to 12 years old. And then there's another one that's for smaller uh, young people. Okay. All right. So what I'll do, what I'm going to do now is leave you there and I thank you for coming along.